Hey, what's up, guys? We are here with King J Dub, my low level account, level 61. Stats are all in the description down below. And we're going to go test out the new and improved or nerfed Blazing Knights. Today they did a patch and they rebalanced the Blazing Knights. They rebalanced them a little bit about three, four days ago. So they made them a lot weaker. And now they rebalance them again. So they're stronger than they were a couple days ago. But from the understanding is they are weaker than they were, you know, a week ago. Hopefully that makes sense. So they are stronger than they were recently, but they're not as strong as they were like a week ago when they were just like insanely powerful. They still are very, very good. But it's, uh, from what I understand, it's, they're not like godly where they kill everything in two hits anymore. So let's go ahead and try this out. Haven't used these guys yet. If you do want to know how to actually get elite boosted knights always as a solo player there's a nice video i just made about how to make your own alliance activate elite boost all it costs is you know 40,000 alliance gold which is very very doable especially if you have your alliance tower up to i believe level five or six where you can actually donate 50,000 every single day yourself so you can constantly have elite boosted knights always on if you are a solo player if you have an alliance tower up to, I believe it's level 5 or 6. Wherever you can donate 50,000 every single day to an alliance, you can always have elite boosted knights on yourself. So, so far it's doing pretty well. Good job. I mean, the knight zerg rushes back, it looks like. They have a lot more HP when they're elite boosted. Which is great when you combo them with like the heal spell or the shield spell. They stay alive a lot longer as well. They're also one of the fastest units in the game. The only unit that is actually faster than them is the werewolf. The froster are roughly the same speed as them as well. So again, a great, great tip on solo players always having elite boosted knights on. Make your own alliance. Start your own alliance. Make sure that you have at least 50,000 donations daily. And once you upgrade your alliance to level 3, I believe it is, you get a free 24-hour duration of Blazing Knights, which is the elite boosted knights. And that's what we are using right now. To take it a step further, you can do this with the archers as well. Archers require a level 6 alliance, I believe. So it would take a little bit higher donations, or it would take a couple more days to have elite boosted archers for free for one day. And for those who are wondering, the special offer packages, they occur randomly um, when you complete a base. And it's always going to be lower, always going to be more gems than you actually currently have on you. So it's 1,500 gems. We definitely don't have anywhere near that. We have 475 gems. So they always want to try and entice you to buy those guys. They're around for around um, six hour duration, as you can see here. So you can use your stored up gems. You can go over here to your quest achievements and you can leave your gems in here and then when you need those gems for the special offer packages say we have a thousand gems in here we can collect all those gems use those gems to buy that special offer package for free and not have to spend anything else we could also get gems in the dungeon down here so it might be wise to leave your gem achievement dungeon quest like we left this one over here for 250 gems we haven't attacked it yet or attempted because we want to keep those gems safe there for whenever we have a really good special offer package or when we really 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 need those 250 gems for whatever reason so keeping those uh you know protected down here in the dungeon uh, it would probably be a smart thing to do 
the only time that I would recommend going through it is if you have to like beat that stage right here to unlock the next stage in the dungeon. But if it's something like this one up here, where it's off to the side, you can just leave it there and store it for a rainy day. And whenever you need those gems, they're going to be there for you. So let's see if we have enough bread to go do an attack here. I think we may be out. Let's see if we have enough in our farms. If not, I'll, I'll skip through this little video. Yep, enough in our farms. All right, so I didn't really even take a look. I just noticed there's a ton of loot, 256,000, tons and tons of loot. We have elite boosted knights. Uh, I don't know if they actually attack the spikes before they attack the spikes now they don't again so their ai is triggered to not attack the spikes they just run over it like stupid idiots and just get spike damage to death so you do still have to worry about spikes when you are using knights again that is a, a, a change before the elite boosted knights they actually did attack the spikes They now actually have a better resistance against being slowed, and also of the, the chaos that the Firebolt Tower brings with the fire burning effect, and then the, the howl of the wolf. So those things are less effective now against these new elite boosted knights. So some old basic strategies, you have to take out the spikes with your king, otherwise the knights are just going to get disintegrated by the spikes. Definitely make sure that you use the hero scream. Oh, gargoyles. Yep, knights don't do well against gargoyles, as you saw there. But overall, this is, I mean, these elite boosted knights are making this base look easy. We have so much time left over. We have a horde of knights. This is like, you know, a joke right here. This was a, like a 300 and something metal base. So a pretty decent size of metal base. But yeah, this is just insanely easy with the Elite Boosted Knights. So they are still very, very powerful. They may not be as powerful as they were before. But they are still very, very good. The night spam is real. So 311. Let's try and do one more raid here with a base that has like maybe 500 medals. So it's really, really hard to go through. No, oh, 434. All right, all right. I, li I like the loot. So let's go. So I'm going to cut the video out for you. We are back here. Night spam. Let's see. This is a 400 metal base here. Uh, heal spell. Uh, all right, so we're going to sit over in this corner to regenerate. We're going to sacrifice all those knights. Oh, maybe we can heal them up a little bit. But yeah, see, the spikes are just disintegrating those knights. So now we're heading up. We have a decent amount of life. Nice, we got a heal spell off there.
So Knights, they do very, very bad against the Water Towers. The Spikes are also very problematic for them. They also hate Gargoyles. Hate them with a passion. Everything else they do fairly well against. Uh, Pyromancers are, are, are a threat because they do an AoE. They do have a slight resistance to the Mortar. And when they're elite boosted, they have a lot more life. So, especially if you're using the heal spell, the mortar isn't really that big of a threat. And you can see a lot tougher base. But I still think we're going to be able to easily beat this base. With a pretty much a simple knight spam. Make them run a little faster. Yep, there we go. Five seconds left. Ooh, close one. But yeah, pretty simple night spam right there. Taking out a tough level base. 434 medals, 27 trophies. So yeah, so the uh, night spam is real. Definitely, if you want to try this out, you can start your own alliance. Get these guys for free for one day. Again, all it costs is 40,000 gold. So definitely try that trick out. I'll link it down below for you. Do you have any questions? Definitely leave a comment down below. I'm here to help you.